Hey y'all, good morning. It's me and I'm back again. Uh, the Wash and Go series is over, but I do still have um, Wash and Go hair and I just took it out of the pineapples and I pretty much wanted to come on and show y'all how I pretty much take an old Wash and Go and kind of revamp it into another style because I did not wash my hair. I didn't want to go through all that um, in the middle of the week. Wash day is going to be on Sunday, so I will save it for Sunday. That is perfectly fine with me. But my hair is still moisturized, but I did not moisturize yesterday. So I want to go in and um, add some of my sugar and berries uh, pomade here. So I'll do that first. And I took about that much, y'all. Nice little amount. So, um, I appreciate you guys for sticking in there with me for my Wash and Go series and for being interested. I really appreciate that. And y'all, I still have some pretty nice curls in here, but along for, for just about every, every other curl is a piece of frizz, so that's fine. I'm just going to revamp this into a side puff. So just working the moisturizer. I want to make sure that I'm fair to every piece of my hair. I'm just working that in. Yeah, y'all was like, you know what? I am not about that co-washing life in the middle of the week. And I am ten and a half months natural now. And it's a doggone process. So, I end up late for work and everything else. And I was just like, you know what? I'm good on that. Let me just go ahead and rock me out a puff for the remainder of the time. So, I'm just going to go ahead and smooth this on the sides like that. Alright, so that part is done. Give me one second, y'all. Let me grab my towel. Because I'm about to... Add some water here. Put the top on my pomade. Don't want water getting in there. Okay. So pretty much what I do next is I like to take um, my water bottle here and pretty much saturate the areas that I really want to manipulate the most. So I'm really just going to concentrate over here. Kind of pull this up some. And spray this area. And I found that spraying it, you guys, makes it, you know, just easier to manipulate the hair and get it to do what you want it to do. So I hope you guys have had a, a great week thus far. I'm really looking forward to the weekend because it is my three-day weekend. So looking forward to that. All right, and now I'll take it and spray the back. Kind of liberal. With that back there. Kind of smooth it on. Spray some more. Because my hair has not had water on it for, you know, a couple of days now. So I just want to kind of smooth the hair up in the direction that I want it to go. And since I mainly want to do a side puff, I'm going to persuade my hair to go in that direction. Okay, so just a little bit more water. Then I'll just spray up here because I'm going to go in and add some gel because I like for it to look nice and smooth and and neat all right so next I'm going to use my eco styler gel to actually set the puff so I'll just take take about that much and smooth it on there So 
See, I told y'all I love this Eco Styler Gel because not only did I, you know, set my, my wash and go with it, but like I said, I also use it for my puffs because it works so dang well. I love this stuff. A little bit more in the back. Say just smoothing it over. Then I'll get just a little bit to go along my edges here in the front. Smooth those down. All right, and next I will take my brush and work that in. the back all right and the front just a little bit to kind of smooth that down even though that's not really going to be my focal area all right so what I do is I like to use two of my bands here because uh -oh, dropping stuff y'all it's too early because my hair is thick and I like to feel like the band is holding my hair in place I don't like a loose feeling puff so I put it on and what you want to do is focus on the back so I'm pushing the back up right now let me show you guys I'm pushing up the back like that Pushing up the back, and now, hold on one second, got that. Let me straighten this out. Okay, pushed up the back, and now you want to focus on the side. Don't worry about the front. Focus on the side. You see how that's kind of making it go, go over. So you want to focus on the side. Then I take the second one and throw it on. And I repeat the same step. Focus on the back. Got that pushed up. I like mine's kind of high. And then the side again. Okay, then you just start kind of pulling that down and shaping it the way that you want it. And then I like to take my brush and go back where all that was kind of disturbed while putting on my band and kind of just smooth that out because I like a nice polished look when it's all said and done. And I'll just take the back, do the same thing. Make sure that's just nice and neat. And then I also like to go in and use my pick and just kind of lift. Because even though I put it in pineapples last night, it still, you know, gets a little flat to some degree. So I just like to go in and lift a little. All right, then I'll finish it off by just tugging and making it how I want it. there. Kind of bring that down some. Make sure everything is nice and neat. And, and there 
it is you guys I have taken this five day old wash and go and I turned it into a side puff so just a close up for you see how my sides are nice and smooth then over here and the back So, I will wear this puff, and I like to refresh my puffs in the morning. Um, I will wear this puff um, until Sunday, which is wash day. So, even though I'm not wearing the wash and go style out anymore, I'm still wearing, um, you know, the same wash and go. I'm just not wearing it out. I decided to go ahead and put it into a puff and make it work for me that way. So I hope you guys enjoyed um, this, I guess, tutorial on how I do my puff. And until the next time I'm about to head off to work, I shall see you guys later. Bye.